With Stannis dead, Brienne and Podrick continue their search for Sansa. Eventually, they manage to find Sansa and Theon being apprehended by a Bolton hunting party. Brienne kills most of the soldiers on horseback, then knocks one off his horse before slitting his throat. Once all the soldiers are dead, Brienne once again offers her services to Sansa, who readily agrees this time. Later, while making camp, Brienne informs Sansa that Arya, who she comments on looking far less ladylike than Sansa, is alive, though she was unable to find her after defeating the Hound. After resting, Brienne and Podrick accompany Sansa to meet Jon at Castle Black. However, Theon decides not to travel with them and instead to return to his family in the Iron Islands, the group allowing him to take a horse for travel. Brienne, Podrick, and Sansa arrive at Castle Black, where Sansa and Jon are reunited. Brienne notices Tormund gazing at her admirably, which makes her visibly uncomfortable. Later, Brienne confronts Davos and Melisandre, having previously met them in the Stormlands during Renly and Stannis's parley. Having overheard Davos ask Melisandre what exactly happened at Stannis's camp after he left, Brienne openly admits that she found and killed Stannis after he admitted to murdering Renly with blood magic. Though she admits it is in the past, she claims she will never forgive Melisandre for her role in Renly's death. Brienne later shares a meal with Jon, Sansa, Podrick, Tormund and Edison Tollett, during which Jon receives a letter from Ramsay Bolton demanding Sansa back on threat of harming him and his friends, and displays obvious anger when Ramsay mentions letting his soldiers rape Sansa one by one and that he has Rickon as his hostage. Sansa demands that she and Jon reclaim Winterfell for the sake of their family. Brienne later accompanies Sansa to the ruins of Mole's town to meet with Peter Baelish. Though Baelish offers to help Sansa against the Boltons, Sansa accuses him of deliberately giving her to Ramsay to further his own agendas and contemplates having Brienne kill him there and then, though she lets him go after he reveals that her great-uncle, Brynden Tully, has retaken Riverrun from the phrase. At a war council, Brienne listens to John, Davos, and Sansa's strategies for their upcoming war with Ramsay, and is visibly concerned when Sansa claims she learned of Brynden's victory by one of Ramsay's messages. Sansa tasks Brienne with locating Brynden and recruiting him to their cause, though Brienne expresses concern at leaving Sansa, trusting John to protect her but remaining wary of Davos and Melisandre, who helped Stannis kill Renly, and Tormund, whose admiration of her has left her uneasy. When Brienne asks Sansa why she did not trust John with Baelish's information, Sansa does not answer. Brienne later leaves Castle Black with the others, starting her journey to the Riverlands with Podrick. Brienne and Podrick travel to Riverrun to deliver Sansa's letter to Brynden Tully, who has regrouped his forces whilst under siege from the Freys. Upon arriving, they discover that the combined forces of House Lannister and House Frey are besieging the castle. Soon, they are surrounded by several Lannister horsemen. Brienne tells them that she has come to see Sir Jaime Lannister and to tell him I have his sword. Jaime and Brienne meet discreetly in a tent. While Brienne has found Sansa, their situation is complicated by a bounty that Cersei has placed on Sansa's head. Brienne tells Jaime that she has come to secure Brynden's help in seeking reinforcements for her campaign to retake Winterfell from the Boltons. This is not possible because Jamie is laying siege to Riverrun. Brienne convinces Jamie to let her negotiate with the Blackfish so that Brynden and his men can leave the castle at night to travel to Winterfell. Before she leaves, she points out that, if she is unsuccessful, then she will be compelled by honor, to Sansa's family, to fight against Jamie. Jamie voices his hope that it doesn't come to that. She then offers Oathkeeper back to him, stating that it was given to her for a purpose, and that purpose has been fulfilled. Jamie tells her to keep the sword in order to continue to fulfill the oath it was named after. Brienne fails to convince the Blackfish, but in the end, the castle is taken with him as the only casualty. Just before he goes off to meet his death, the Blackfish puts Brienne and Podrick into a rowboat in a secret escape tunnel. As Brienne and Podrick row quietly away in the dawn, Jamie sees her from the castle. She meets his gaze as they both wave a quiet farewell, 